we're asked to evaluate the given definite integral. Before we consider the definite integral though, let's determine the antiderivative by considering the indefinite integral of the quantity x squared minus eight times e to the negative x dx. To integrate, we'll have to perform integration by parts. The integration by parts formula is the integral of u dv equals uv minus the integral of v du. We will let u equal the quantity x squared minus eight so that du is simpler, which means dv is equal to e to the negative x dx. So again, we have u equals x squared minus eight and dv equals e to the negative x dx. du is equal to the derivative of x squared minus eight times dx, which is two x dx. And now we need to integrate to find v. Integrating both sides of dv equals e to the negative x dx. We have the integral of, let's write dv as one dv equals the integral of e to the negative x dx. The integral of one dv is equal to v or v plus c, but we'll leave the plus c off until the end, equals to integrate e to the negative x dx, we need to perform u substitution, where u is equal to negative x, which means du is equal to negative dx, and therefore negative du equals dx. Writing the integral of e to the negative x dx with respect to u, we have negative the integral of e to the u du, and therefore v is equal to negative e to the u plus c, or negative e to the negative x plus c. Leaving the plus c off, we have v equals negative e to the negative x. And now applying the integration by parts formula, the given integral is equal to u times v minus the integral of v du. Well, u times v is the quantity x squared minus eight times negative e to the negative x. Let's write that as the opposite of the quantity x squared minus eight times e to the negative x. And then we have minus the integral of v du. Well, v times du is negative e to the negative x times two x dx which is negative two x e to the negative x dx. Because we're subtracting a negative, this becomes plus the integral of two x e to the negative x dx. So while this new integral is simpler, it still requires integration by parts to evaluate. So now we'll apply integration by parts a second time. So we'll let u equal two x, and again we'll let dv equal e to the negative x dx. So if u is equal to two x, then du is equal to the derivative of two x times dx, which gives us two dx, and dv is equal to e to the negative x dx, which we had before, and therefore we know v is equal to negative e to the negative x. So applying the integration by parts formula again, We have plus u times v, which is two x times negative e to the negative x, which gives us negative two x e to the negative x, and therefore this becomes minus two x e to the negative x. And then we have minus the integral of v du. Well, v times du is negative e to the negative x times two dx, or negative two e to the negative x dx. Because we're subtracting a negative, this becomes plus, and then we have two e to the negative x dx. And now we have a much simpler integral that only requires u substitution. The final antiderivative is the opposite of the quantity x squared minus eight times e to the negative x minus two x e to the negative x. And then we have plus the integral of two e to the negative x dx which is two times negative e to the negative x plus c, giving us minus two e to the negative x plus c. And now that we have the antiderivative, we can go back and evaluate the original definite integral. The definite integral is equal to the value of the antiderivative evaluated at six minus the antiderivative evaluated at three. When writing the antiderivative to evaluate a definite integral, we leave off the plus c 
because the plus c's would simplify out when determining big F of b minus big F of a. So first we determine big F of six, which is equal to the opposite of the quantity six squared minus eight times e to the negative six minus two times six e to the negative six minus two times e to the negative six. And then we have minus big F of three, which is equal to the opposite of the quantity three squared minus eight times e to the negative three minus two times three times e to the negative three minus two times e to the negative three. And now let's go ahead and simplify. Six squared minus eight is 36 minus eight or 28. Then we have the opposites. We have negative 28 e to the negative six minus 12 e to the negative six minus two e to the negative six. So we have this quantity and then minus the opposite of three squared minus eight, that's one, so negative one e to the negative three minus six e to the negative three minus two e to the negative three. Simplifying negative 28 e to the negative six minus 12 e to the negative six minus two e to the negative six is negative 42 e to the negative six. And then we have minus negative one e to the negative three minus six e to the negative three minus two e to the negative three, which is negative nine e to the negative three. Simplifying, we have negative 42 e to the negative six plus nine e to the negative three. Or using positive exponents, we have negative 42 divided by e to the sixth plus nine divided by e cubed. Either of these last two forms would be acceptable for the exact value of the given definite integral. I hope you found this helpful.